Hello there! My name is Artur Nekšans. I'm a Latvian chess grandmaster and I would like to talk with you about how to properly prepare for a tournament game. So what does it mean? I imagine that most of you have been playing in serious over the board tournaments with a classical time control game. So it's not only blitz and rapid games but also the classical tournaments and then it's quite important to know what's the best technique to prepare for the games and where to get information. Why this is necessary? I mean, imagine yourself taking an exam and you haven't prepared anything, then essentially you are doing this on blind luck. So with the preparation, we are trying to predict at home as much as we can with the help of the chess engines while doing this at home, of course, is perfectly legal. We try to predict the game is going to be the way it's going to be played out and which direction at the same time checking what the opponent might prepare against us. So there's several informational resources that you should know how to use. Now, here are the, I believe, the five, one of the most important informational resources available uh, for you to prepare uh, for an over the board game. And I guess it's fair to say that for a casual level, it's pretty enough with the first three. So you see it's chess.com, it's lead chess, and it's the opening tree, a fairly new website which combines the best practices of the previous two of uh, viewing the games. But if you're talking about a pretty good level, I mean, you won't prepare against uh, players who are playing in over the board games, then probably it's a better idea to use either the week in chess uh, compiled uh, Twix or uh, Chess Space, which is a professional software. But let's start to look at all of them one at a time. So this is chess.com's um, official page of Magnus Carlsen. Obviously, you know who the guy is. He's currently the world champion. And for example, if you ever want to prepare against certain opponent, many people already use this, even at the professional level. Just Google, type in the first uh, the players you want to play, the first name and the last name, and for example, chess.com. So for example, I want to find Magnus Carlsen's games. I just go to Google, then I type Magnus Carlsen, chess.com, and it should find this page. Now, once we are here, what you can do, you can either click on the games, right? So here we click on the games. You see he has played many, many games, some of them rapid games, but probably it's going to be quite difficult for you to prepare against Magnus or anybody else you really want to prepare. So that's why there's the explore games. Now here in the games exploration, for example, you can select a color against the opponent you want to play. For example, you are going to be playing tomorrow in an over the board game against, uh, let's say, Magnus Carlsen. You will be playing with white, so that's why you select uh, black for Magnus Carlsen. And for example, you are an avid fan of B3, and there you go, you check what your opponent might respond. So knight f6, bishop b2, g6, you see he's a big fan of going for some king's indian structures, especially against the b3, and you try to make a prognosis where the game is going to take you. At the same time, you can also select here what type of games have been played. I believe this is quite important because maybe you are looking at his bullet games when he was playing one minute on the clock. So this is a really, really nice feature. Um, unfortunately, if we go back to the uh, starting position, you cannot really download them because chess.com is not really keen allow you to do that, but technically it's possible. So you go here on the games, you click on the completed games, which is not very intuitive to find. And there you go. In the end, you can download the last 50 games. So unfortunately, it's impossible to download more than that. And for example, here you can select various criteria, but 
Unfortunately, there will be no way to mark all of the 416 games to download at the start, for example, if you won't use another software. So I guess chess.com really encourages us to use the Explore games on the site, and I believe you still can get a quite a nice picture to understand what exactly is the world champion, for example, going to do against d4? You so you see, it's knight of six, first move, and after c4, he's a big fan of the e6 system. So you try to predict the game as far as you can. Now, let's check what is available on leeches. So here, I decided to select a certain username by who goes by the username of Dr. Nuchterstein. Uh, he is a fairly decent player. So I would have to say, and again, if we click here on the 10,000 games, of course, you can try to browse through all of them. Good luck trying to have a picture what exactly uh, your opponent might play against you tomorrow. But luckily for you, there is this thing called the opening explorer. So here you can select your opponent. So here it's Dr. Nuchterstein. I mean, okay, it's not a big secret. That's Magnus Carlsen here. For example, he is playing again with black, and again we would like to play against him tomorrow, b3, and here you see on leeches, he is mainly playing against b3, e5, right? And immediately there pops out the games he has played, and uh, you can click on those games, open them, including with an engine analysis, you can try to predict your game as far as you can oh, by the way this engine analysis instantly browsing forward uh, was unfortunately not available on chess.com also what you can do is and this is quite a nice feature export the games so of course you would have to unclick various unneeded stuff like the horde anti chess king of hill crazy house oh my goodness there's so many things you don't really need Correspondence chess, it's fair to assume that your opponent is not playing. I guess also not bullet, we are not really interested. Rapid, blitz, okay, maybe not ultra bullet as well. Blitz could be playable as well. And then you simply click down loud and it's going to save the games of Dr. Nuchterstein and you can use this and later try to build a tree and predict what your opponent is going to play. Well, that is all of that is nice, but there's something even better for you. And this is what we call the opening tree. Let me try to show it to you. Here we go. This is the opening tree. Fairly new website. As you see, Eric Rosen says it's so powerful. But the beautiful part is you can extract the games from either leeches or chess.com. So once again, you go online. You type in the username of the person you would like to prepare against, for example, Magnus Carlsen Leeches or Magnus Carlsen Chess.com. Uh, any, any person you would like to find, assuming his account is not anonymous. So, for example, here I would select, uh, uh, click on Leeches. Just a second, here we click on Leeches. I type in the username, Dr. Nuchterstein. I click Continue. And before I start to search the games, you can use advanced filters. And probably it's a good idea. The Big Bang as a starting date, that's a great idea. But I think what you can do is change the time control games. Once again, you exclude the Ultra Bullet. You exclude Bullet games. Probably you're also not really interested into the correspondence games. And then you click finally continue. When that happens, it's going to deliver you this uh, moment. So these are our, all of the games with black by Dr. Nuchterstein on leeches with black. So once again, you are a big fan of B3. You see that your opponent is mainly responding with, uh, with what, whatever he usually plays. Right. And um, that's why you can also use this uh, opening tree in order to extract the games from uh, leeches, you can extract the games from the same opponent from chess.com and build sort of a portfolio and try to understand what to expect from your opponent tomorrow. Now, all of that is nice, but I do believe that many players still don't treat playing online really seriously. 
so you might get a certain picture from people playing online and a completely different picture what he's playing over the board that's what i do believe this is where comes in play a more serious uh, resource which is the called the week in chess the week in chess is uh, a very uh, long project which is running for about 20 years uh, what it does it compiles all of the games in the pgn or the uh, cbv format there you go it digests all of the games from competitive tournaments and it's for free you simply click on the pgn you download either on PGN or CBV, you download it, and then again, use whatever uh, resource, should be leeches, you open these games, and then you build up a database. Yeah, that could be actually quite tricky, because I imagine if you're using, uh, uh, if you're using the week in chess, then probably you need to build a database, right? So you should have something solid from the start, and you keep updating it with the PGN or the CBV copied games. But still, there is no secret that all of the professional chess players, they are using Chesspace. And Chesspace today is the dominant informational source on the market. And that's why I guess the price is pretty high. So what you're looking for is either the sole mega database program, which comes together with 9.2 million games, which is quite costly. I would say about 200 euros. And if you're going to take it together with the chess base 16 or 70, whatever is the latest version, it's going to come even extra. But this is what all of the competitive players are using right now. So, for example, if you do get chess base, I'm going to show you how to uh, quickly prepare against an opponent. So, this is the starting page of chess base. Obviously, there, there's going to be under my databases, you're going to install the mega database. So, we are going to switch to the mega database. But in order to prepare against the opponent, we are going to click here. Prepare against an opponent. So once we do that, we are going to get to this screen. So there you see there is a tab of the player. So for example, we are desperately willing to prepare against Magnus Carlsen. We type in the last name. Yeah, if it's a very popular name, there could be difficulties to find it. But let's assume we found it. So there you go. Magnus Carlsen is here. There you see the number of games. That's his actual ELO. You can get various informations like um, the ID, uh, various statistics. I mean, most of that stuff you don't really need. But then you click prepare against either black or white. So you can use actually some short shortcuts as well uh, with the right click. And it's going to take you here to this screen. And here on this screen, uh, the system ex extracts all of the games that, for example, Magnus Carlsen has played with Black. And one of the amazing features that Chessbase has, and it's a professional software, it's very logical that it should have, it's, for example, what is hot and what is not hot. For example, you see that after E4, for example, you want to play E4 tomorrow, you see that Carlson mainly responds with e5. Here on the right, you see all of the games he has played recently. You can double click on them or just click here and have a very quick preview whatever was happening in that game. And even with no need to open the game in another window, you can browse it through and figure out what you are going to play tomorrow. Also, you can click on this thing, which is called the full kibitzer. There you should add the latest free version of Stockfish, which is completely free, available for download online. And then with the help, for example, here with Stockfish 14, this is what I have. You're browsing move by move, and then you're trying to get out the best results possible for tomorrow's game. Uh, right. That is about the chess base. Uh, one thing I would like to mention is 
a couple of important rules that you should know so let me please name them what they are so your uh, goal in order to prepare at home is to predict the game as far as you can you're using these resources should it be chess.com lead chess should it be opening tree i mean i probably it's a better idea to use uh, chess space because that's a very serious informational tool and you're predicting the game as far as you can the second with a good preparation you are not taking it as a chance meaning you are going to choose the direction the game is going to take and this is what i've been using myself many many years meaning if i don't like for example that my opponent tomorrow with a very big likelihood is going to play french and i don't really like the french defense lately so what i'm going to do i will simply check whatever he plays on any other opening and try to predict it as far as I can. Of course, it's a great idea also to check what your opponent is playing with both colors and why this is so important because you might be preparing a very interesting, fresh idea and novelty against your opponent, but it might easily happen he has it already played himself with that color. Thus, the element of surprise will be gone. Thus, if you really want to surprise your opponent and make him feel as uncomfortable as possible, it's a good idea to try to select the opening which he doesn't play himself with the other color. Of course, it's a great idea to pay extra attention what your opponent is playing lately because all of the players at some point they're changing their repertoires so if your opponent played e4 e5 five years ago maybe in the past months he is playing the karakan also it's a very great idea for you to check what your opponent might prepare against you so it's not only like you are the one who is doing the homework it's not only you are the one who is doing the preparation maybe it's a great idea to check what your opponent is expecting from you. So you can use all of these resources like chess.com, league chess, opening tree, chess space, and gather some information and have a clue on what it is that your opponent is aiming for. So that way, the next day you're gonna play, your opponent is steering the game towards that direction. You have a pretty good idea what he wants to achieve. And of course, the final tip if, is if your opponent tries to deviate from the preparation, he feels that you have prepared something nasty, trust your preparation. That's it. I hope you appreciated that. Uh, I do believe that preparation for the games are extremely important steps in order to uh, score better results. Hope you're going to find this useful and um, good luck in preparation.